Chill with Pat Gang. It's your girl, Mickey, checking in, guys. And today, 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 we are continuing our celebration of celebrating business owners, small business owners, growing business owners, whatever term you would like to use. But we are shining a light on some of these small businesses here. And I want to thank you all for tuning in to this season four. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, today we are joined with Neek, and she is the owner of Coro LLC. So I'm going to go ahead and hand it right over to her so she can tell you all about her business and what it is that she does. Thank you so much for having me on. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Neek Austin, here with Coro LLC. Um, basically, I am a multitude of hats, as you can see here. <laughs> I do a lot. Um, Coro basically stands for Coquise and Romitris. Um, that is actually my mother and I's middle name. But if you want to go more in the deeper meaning of Coro, Coro is basically courage and compassion for yourself as well as for others. Our mantra here, believe in the power of self-care, basically means that we are teaching people how to put themselves first because at this time in the days, it is very vital that you learn how to put yourself first. And after you put yourself first, take care of others by helping them along the way. Here at Coro, we sell press-on nails, handmade press-on nails. We also create wall art, inspirational wall art, we also create stationery. We also have faith-based apparel and statement tees. And I'm also a podcaster. So I do have a podcast. I am the host of Coro is a Crush, where I am, and well, not inspirational, but yes, it is an inspirational podcast, but I'm inspiring you to become your best self both professionally and personally by teaching you how to have a crush on yourself. I am also a published author. I wrote my first book. Um, it's released March of 15th for this year. And it's called I Choose Me 30 Days of Self-Love in which for 30 days, I am having a one-on-one -on -one personal conversation with you, motivating and inspiring you to become your best self by, again, teaching you how to put yourself first. Yeah. I, oh my gosh, I, I love that. Even like what it stands for, what all you do. I had no idea about the podcast. So I was like, hey, I learned something new just now. Okay, so let me remember that so I can go back and check those out. But I mean, it, it is you are doing a lot of amazing things. So I tip my hat to you. Congratulations on all of that. Thank and you you're still so smiling. <laughs> Got to, you got to smile. I mean, there's no point in looking down on everything that you have. I mean, I'm coming up in two years, December this year on my business, but it has been this, actually this second year has been one amazing ride as well. It's been a lot of bumps, a lot of obstacles that we have overcame. Well, personally, I have overcame personally and professionally in my business. So at the end of the day, I'm like, Lord, I'm still here. You gave me this business. This business is still moving. So yeah, I must be doing what it is that you have for for me to do. I have your seal of approval. So I don't have no reason but to smile at it. Yes. I, I love even the way that you chose to look at that. Because some people are like, you know what? It's too many bumps. I don't even like hurdles. And they would have stopped, you know? And I mean, I know me, October, you know, was just my two years. So I was like, oh my gosh. And I'm sitting back thinking about things. And I'm like, baby, I didn't fell down, bumped, slid, tripped, all kind of stuff. <laughs> but like you said, it's, as long as you keep getting back up, you learn not to do that again. Right. <laughs> you know, just you just, cool. you keep moving forward every day. You just have to be willing to learn willing to learn like that's that's just it willing to learn because it's going to be something that's going to happen that you're going to I need to catch that and you're going to have those moments and they're going to prepare you for what is to come so I just try to be careful and watch out now <laughs> right absolutely that's all we can do yes um and so what kind of got you started into wanting to help women and not women not not just women but help people in general want to get back to themselves and take that time for them my personal journey learning to deal with myself and the people i have encountered along this you know this uh this road that we're traveling on um i know i have dealt with a lot of self-esteem issues growing up i've also dealt with a lot of people being shady a lot of haters have came and gone in my life 
And I'm the type of person that always like to see the best in people. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that likes to make people smile. I'm the one that my friends group where I'm cracking jokes all day long. Don't get offended by my jokes. Cause if you're going to dish them out to me, you better be ready to catch them back. That's how I operate. <laughs> but, at the, <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's more so of, I was raised by my parents on never seeing anybody frowning, always make them smile. So um, when I try to give that back to people, I love to see the smile on their face, whether it's through my products, whether it's through me ministering, whether it's through me singing, whether it's through my writing, no matter what facet I am um, involved in at the time. It's just that I love helping people. I've always loved helping people. I've always loved to speak and minister to people. I've been doing this ever since I was a little girl. So it was just the point of just listening to God and asking him what it is that I need to do and, you know, the road and the vision that he has set for me. And when I decided to answer the call to become a minister on um, March of 2018, I was like, okay, it's time to do what you have already put inside of me to do. This has been established inside of me since I was five. I decided to wait all of these years because I wanted to do my own thing. But like I tell people, in order for you to become the best you, you know, the best version of you, you got to learn how to go through things. You got to learn how to go and overcome those obstacles because you cannot gain wisdom if you don't take those roads that take you down fear, that take you down failure, that take you down to near fatality. You have to take those roads in order to gain the wisdom. So that way you can issue all of that wisdom and the other people and bless them that are on similar roads that you may have traveled. So mm -hmm. that's how this business came about. God gave me this business on um, December the 5th. It would actually be, yeah, it, he hit the two year mark. So, <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we hit the two year mark. Praise the Lord. And um, he gave me this business two years ago and, and near the end of the pandemic in 2020. And I really wanted to step out from my husband's shadow because he has his own business. And I said, I need, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur since I graduated from high school. Mm -hmm. My dream was to always go back to my hometown and help other people by giving them jobs. So that way they will have the opportunity to work mm -hmm. and not have to rely on, okay, so you need a college degree to work with you. You don't need no college degree to work with me. All I need is your work ethics because I personally do not have a four year bachelor's degree. I, everything I've learned is self-taught or I have taken classes or being certified in different things. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just more so a giving back to the community. I mean, yeah, money is there, but for me, it's more about saving souls and healing hearts. That's where I'm at. Yes. I, I, I love that. And for like you said, it's about that work ethic. It's about the individual because me, I, I, I had a four year. Well, it was more like six because I had a baby in there and I got married somewhere around college in college. But <laughs> I was on that six year plan. But, you know, I graduated with a degree in law enforcement. Yeah, I had every intention of being a criminal defense attorney. But I was like, OK, I have kids now. I don't want to be away from my kids all day. Mm -hmm. I don't you know, I started seeing like some of the things that they were going through. I'm like, I don't want to I don't want to deal with that. I want my own. <laughs> and, you know, I can't leave that job no matter how you know, far along, I get in the ladder. I can only go as far as they will let me go. I'm only going to get as far as they feel I'm worth. And I'm, I can't give that to my kids or, you know, when I, when I leave here. So I'm like, okay, I need to find something that works for me. That's going to make me happy. I can do it around my kids or with my kids. So even like you said, it's, it's about that work ethic because having a college degree is one thing, but we're not even going to get into the people who have the degrees, but I'm not even in the field that their degree is in. And, you know, so that's a whole nother thing, but I, I definitely understand that because it's all about the individual, you know, what are they able to do? What can they do? What are their strengths? Introducing them, like you said, to their self, they get to learn those strengths and weaknesses. Now they can really focus on what is their path in life because now they know who they are. Right. So I, I'm, oh my gosh, I love that. And so how, okay, you have your podcast. How long has your podcast been going? That's one. <laughs> my podcast, we started um, Cobra is a Crush on February the 2nd of this year. So we're coming up on one year next year, but we are in season two of Cobra is a Crush right now. I, I love that. And I, I know all about that because my season one of this 
um, Boss Chat um, started in March of this year. And I'm already, you know, into my season four. It's just, it picked up for me. I wasn't really sure. And it just, it, it grabbed me and I'm like, okay, I'm holding on to it. It's something about it that's working for me and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> right. That's how I felt with my podcast. Yeah. So I, I get it. I do. And it's really funny. My husband uh, has wanted to start a podcast because we have a YouTube channel, but it's only so much we can do on there, you know? <laughs> and um, so we we have been thinking about starting one. So don't be surprised if you see me coming through your inbox with a couple questions and everything like that. <laughs> hey, I, I'm, I'm ready to answer, ready to move, shake, do whatever it takes, promote all of it. I, I, I try to help out not just my community, but I try to help out everybody because for me, it's not all about just celebrating the African-American community. I like to celebrate all communities because I'm a diverse person mm -hmm. and I was raised in the household where color does not exist. Mm -hmm. So I try to help out everybody as much as I can. And Anybody I, that wants to know. I love that. And you, you have to be able to, like you said, get out here and network with everyone because there's something you can learn or something you can give to every single person here. Um, and there's no need to just confine yourself. Like, you know, we don't, we don't have to do that. Right. So I, and you know, I, I love that. And so there was one thing you could tell somebody that you ran into that almost broke your baby, but it was that one thing you wish someone would have told you before you started your business. What would you tell someone? Uh, if I had to choose anything, I would say the imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. I did not realize, and I just talked about this on my live maybe a few months ago. I did not realize I was in an imposter syndrome until my daughter told me that I was in one. Hmm. And my daughter doesn't work for my business. My son does. <laughs> but, <laughs> but from the outside looking in, we was having a conversation and she was just telling me about different things that were going on. And um, we were just talking. And next thing I know, she was like, sounds like you're in an imposter syndrome is just, you know, yourself. And I said, really? <laughs> I never thought I was. And then I said, well, I'll be dog. I must be. That must be the reason why I be feeling. I felt the way that I felt for so long. I went through a year and a few months of not wanting to work my business like I wanted to, not wanting to do what it was supposed to do, not even to the point of wanting to fill orders for my customers. Mm -hmm. it, it got that bad. And I knew what it stemmed from. But trying to get over that obstacle was very hard for me. So every time people would see me on Instagram, I always had a smile on my face. And every time you hit me on my podcast, you never knew I was going through things. And I mean, I would talk about it, but I never went more in depth about it. I will always inspire people. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until August, September, that's when I said, you know what? It's time for me to come out from behind the shadows and let people know what was going on. A friend of mine um, felt in his spirit that I was going through some things. And he made a post saying to help uplift me in prayer. Now I'm the one that's always doing the praying and the ministering to people. <laughs> so for him to say, hey, Kovo LLC is going through some things. We need to uplift her in prayer and motivate her, but not just her motivating me as well, because we're all going through it. I was, I just had to burst in tears because I was like, I didn't, I knew that my family was out there, my IG family, y'all are awesome. But I did not realize that people were paying attention to where they picked up on my spirit and knew something was wrong with me, just within me saying, hello. Mm -hmm. And that's how you know people pay attention. Yes. And I didn't realize people were paying attention that hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've heard people tell me, yo, you inspired me to be blah, 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 blah. But I never knew it was that definite mm -hmm. and that accurate until mm -hmm. that post. And when I mean the people was flooding my timeline and everything, I was like, great day. <laughs> and then when I made the, I finally decided, let me go live and talk about this. So I went live and I said, you know what? I have to admit to y'all, I've been living the imposter syndrome life and this is what we need to do. But all of that actually came from a podcast episode that I did with someone else and it just ran right into it. <laughs> it is. It is. And like you said, it's all about, like you said, when you really connect with your audience and you're really giving them you 
they will pick up on, you know, those things because I've done videos, like you said, I put my smile on. I was, you know, I was there and I right. had people message me like right after like, okay, so you want to talk about that? And I was just like, <laughs> what, what, what you talking about? <laughs> you know? Exactly. About? And they like, okay, whenever you're ready, I'm here. And I'm sitting there like, dang, I thought I was doing good. But, right. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's, it's good because like you said, you have those people who are watching you, who are paying attention and they, they feel that spirit. And that's really good that we do have it in our communities where we do have that, pe those people who catch up on that because had your daughter never said anything, had that post never been out, who knows if you would have still been in that phase because for whatever reason it was, you weren't able to come out yet. You weren't able to say what was going on yet. And sometimes we just don't want to be that person because we're not known for that. Right. You know, I'm not, I'm not known for going through my season. I'm known for helping you get through yours. And it's like, that's right. <laughs> and it's like, no, you know, I'm, I'm human too. I have those moments. And in that time, we have to count on that community that we've built to be able to, Hey, nope, uh -uh, let's run that back. Let's see what's going on. So I, I am really happy that that was brought to the light for you so that you were able to correct that because you would not be able to get to your full potential that way. Right. There's, That's no, growth. Right. There's no growth there. I do thank you for mentioning that and opening up on here and letting us know about that. No problem. I mean, it needs it needs to be told. And a lot of us, we try to um, sugarcoat it and mm -hmm. not want to talk about it. And I'm like, nah. This is something that a lot of people are going through. And even when I made that live, I did not realize that a lot of people was going through it as well. So I'm mm -hmm. like, well, shoot, this is something we got to talk about because okay. this is such a struggle in our communities as business owners, but not just business owners, but African-American, Black business owners. We're always dealing with things like this because we're always measuring ourselves up to everybody else in their community instead of measuring up ourselves yes. in, within us, not within our community, but within us, like- I have decided for the rest of the, you know, for the rest of this year that I was going to bet on myself because I'm like, if I don't do it, it won't get done. And last time I checked the God that I serve, he bet on us every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he bet on us every day for us to come to him with our problems so he can give us the solution that we need in order for us to progress and move forward. So I'm like, if Jesus is betting on me to do what I need to do for this business that he created for me, then I can't let him down just like I can't keep letting myself down. And I can't keep letting myself down because I want to sit in my well of pity mm -hmm. and not be able to do what it is that I need to do, not just for my clients, but for my customers, for my family, for the community I have built alongside with the business partners, all of the establishments I've created, all of the connections I have created. Mm -hmm. I can't keep letting them down or better yet. I can't keep sugarcoating and saying that I'm going, I'm not going through it when they automatically know, Oh, we know, we know what you're going through, but we're going to wait right here until you ready. yes and that was a reason why I did start like my self-care Sunday videos because I was going through a lot of little things I'm like okay, I'm it's just me and I don't know why sometimes we do that when we're going through something it's, it's just us like no one else right. in our head is going through that but you know right. it's just me and <laughs> I, I came out of it I went through a lot of like self-esteem issues and everything like that and then I just went right into I was a mom and I was a wife and I'm a business owner it was like wait a minute I never fixed some of those things I need to bring that head of me back to the forefront figure out who I am what it is that's doing this so I can fix it and I was like okay there's somebody else out here I'm not the only one so when I came up with my self-care Sundays that was that so some people are like oh my gosh you've helped me this way and that way and I'm like you don't even understand i this is helping me this is like my therapy. So the fact I can help you was a bonus. Right. <laughs> That's the plus. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, you know, but like you said, you, you have to find that outlet. You have to have that community. So it's all in about surrounding yourself with that support system who will catch those things. And it's always amazing when it comes from your support desk outside of the people you're around on an everyday basis because you're like I'm putting it out there and it's I'm putting it out there the correct way because it's able to come back to me positively right right that's right 
Yep. And so I know where to find you, but can you let everyone else know where they can find you? You said you're an author. Where can we purchase your book, your podcast, you know, all the things that you have going on? Where can we find you? Okay. So you can follow me on Instagram. That is like the epicenter for me. <laughs> I'm on Instagram under the um, name Coro. That is C-O-R-O underscore L-L-C. And you can use that same username to follow me on Pinterest. So you can check out my boards on Pinterest, my TikTok videos under the same name. If you are on Twitter, you can also follow me on Twitter under the same name, Coro, C-O-R-O underscore LLC. You can follow me on Facebook. I do have a Facebook page where you can check out my business and everything. That is Coro, C-O-R-O dot LLC. There is a difference. Um, check me out on my podcast as well. Coro is a crush. Um, we're getting ready to wrap up this season of season two because come January, um, we will be doing the best of Coro is a crush season two. Also, I am launching a magazine next month. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> called the Coronista magazine in which similar to the podcast but we are also featuring small business owners but I'm going to have some great tips about how to get your life in order self-care tips beauty fashion faith all of the things that I do in my business we're actually going to come to it in magazine format I also have a YouTube channel it is called The House H A U S of Coro, I am still in the process of working on that YouTube channel, but go ahead and subscribe because hopefully, praise the Lord, we will have that YouTube channel up and running by next year. <laughs> um, let's see what else. My book. Okay, so I choose me. <laughs> 30 Days of Self Love. <laughs> you can purchase the book, I Choose Me, 30 Days of Self Love on Amazon. It is all it is on Amazon, but you can also public um purchase it from my publisher, which is Lulu Publishing. That is L U L U Publishing.com. You can go there. Also, we are hosting an I Choose Me Virtual Summit, August the 12th, 2023. It will be virtual via Zoom. I got four awesome speakers that are going to come through, talk about fashion, beauty, faith, and self-care, how they started their businesses and what put them in a position to continue those, manage those businesses while going through the trials of life. It is going to be awesome. Tickets, um, I actually started on December the 1st, so you can purchase your ticket. The first 25 tickets sold, um, they will be purchased half off, which is $47. Regular tickets start at 97 But with that $97 ticket, you also get a t-shirt. You get full access to the virtual mall that we are having with the vendors. Um, I got vendors um, that are going to participate in a virtual mall. So if you still want to become a vendor, let me know. Vendor fees will start on January the 1st at a rate of $50 per vendor. So if you want to be a vendor or a sponsor, please let me know. Send all of that information to hello at shopcoro.com. Once again, that is hello at s-h-o-p-c-o-r-o.com. Also check out the website, www.shopcoro.com where you can actually go and purchase your tickets. I believe that is everything, Jesus. Oh, also on my podcast for Coro is a Crush, I do have a segment called Expand Your Empire where I feature small business owners to help them gain exposure to a whole new audience. So if you are a business owner and you would like to be featured on my podcast, Coro is a Crush, please send me an email to Coro Crush Podcast. That is Coro Crush Podcast at gmail.com. Or you can go on my website at www.shopcoro.com and click on the inspiration tab and click on podcast and you can fill out the form right there so we can go on and get you on for season three of mm -hmm. Coro is Crush. All right. First of all, I'm going to clap because you said all of that, baby. You did You did that. <laughs> <laughs> I do it so much. It's just routine for me. <laughs> she did that. I'm so like, okay. Mental note. Mental note. Okay. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody, I will make sure that all of her information is in the description box down below. And so make sure you guys check in with her. Like she said, her hub is on Instagram. So if you look for her there, you're going to find her there. And I'm pretty sure you can connect with her through any of her other social medias through there. She is very active. So you will see her. She's not one of those people you're going to subscribe to when you're never going to see a post. She's, she's very active. I can say that. If you message her, she does reply back. So you don't have to worry about that either. <laughs> so 
Oh, because some Sims game is on point. <laughs> and I'm, it has to be. I'm telling you, because we, we gotta do everything. We got man, everything. That's a whole. Yeah. That's a whole nother story right there. <laughs> but I do want to thank you so much for stopping by the den. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. I have learned so much from you during this time. I, I'm I'm writing some notes down as soon as we wrap. So I don't forget nothing, but you're going to be hearing from me because <laughs> you're going to be hearing from me. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to be, we're going to be connected. I, I feel that we are. <laughs> Absolutely. Whatever you need, just let me know. Okay. I'm available, so, you got me. I, thank you. That's, that's all I need to know. Now don't be, don't be ignoring me now. Cause I'm, I'm going to be messaging. <laughs> I, I, I don't ignore people. Uh, the only time I ignore people is if you are a troll or you doing something that is so illegal, I just can't get involved. Okay. Other than that, I do respond to my people. I do respond to them within 24 hours. I'm normally, um, you already know, you normally, normally if that sucker ping my phone, I'm yep. sending that right back to you within the next 15 seconds. That's yep. how fast I move. But I did forget one thing. For the I Choose Me Virtual Summit, I will be releasing my second book. And my second book, it will be called Sis, Find Your Power. It's going to be a compilation of affirmations and more motivation spe motivational speeches, as well as a guided journal included inside of it. Because what I want you to do as women, we are always told that we're never doing enough or we never amount to nothing or imposter syndrome happens more with women um, versus men. And I'm here to tell you, get off your behind because that's not really what I want to say, but I'm gonna keep it clean for the, for the YouTube community. <laughs> to get off your behind and take your power back. So much has happened within this year that I have witnessed not only in my life, but also in other people's lives. And I'm just at the point of saying, you know what? I'm fed up. Let me tell you exactly how I really feel about whatever it is that you may be going through or whatever it is that I'm dealing with personally. So not only are you going to get personal stories, but you're also going to get some other stories, not mentioning the names because we don't do that here, okay. but you're, you're going to have a lot of things that you can actually relate to in the book. But yes, yeah, sis, find your power. It will be released um, August the 12th at the I Choose Me Virtual Summit. So be on the lookout for that. I will be. Just the title just gave me a little chills up my little. You know, <laughs> that title, I'm really that. I'm that you call me with the title. So, <laughs> well, let me tell you this. Let me tell you how that title came about real quick. My husband was half sleep because I was picking him up from work, and mm -hmm. I said, "Baby, I need a new title for my book." And he was just naming off different titles. So actually. Uh, Sis Find Your Power is actually part of the trilogy of the I Choose Me chain. Mm -hmm. The third book in that installment, it will be called Girls Speak Your Truth. So he names everything. He names my, my products. He named my books. He names it all. That's how active my husband is in my business mm -hmm. and everything. And the one thing that um, I do want to say is that... Um, my husband is very supportive. And I know that a lot of people don't get that opportunity where their husbands are supportive or their um, family is very supportive. But I want to say that my village, my family, my friends, I'm actually glad that I have a support system. But yeah, my husband, he named the title. He did. I got oh, to get that praise to him. That ain't me. That's him. Tell him I said thank you because I'm telling you, it was woo. <laughs> But you know, I do, I do, I do like the fact real quick that you did mention your husband because my husband is like my biggest supporter as well. And I think that's very important to acknowledge that because you don't hear a lot about it. You don't see a lot of it. So I, I, my husband, I'm telling you, he's, he's my rock and he's like, no, babe, you can do that. Why you didn't do it yet? Well, what you yeah. waiting for? Like, and I'm like, okay. Well, all that's right. My, you know, that's my, husband too. my husband is my silent partner in my business. So mm -hmm. everything that I need or whatever night, he just tells me if the, if it, if we can get it, then we put towards it. This is how we're going to work it and everything. But yeah, I, I tell people all the time, my husband supports me just like I support him in his business. Yes. Um, he is my inspiration. He's the reason why I started this business. I started working under him. And then I said, I want to do what I want to do for me. Mm -hmm. But can you, you know, can you participate and purchase a few items for my business, you know, just to get me started and everything? I said, because you'll get a real good ROI on it. You know what I mean? And he said, what do you need, Nick? What do you need? All right, hit a list right here. <laughs> okay. You you have to come prepared. So you have you have to come prepared. You know, we, we have, all did. the questions. There you go. Right there. <laughs>
right here, right here. What we doing now, Nate? This is what we doing right here, right here. But nonetheless, I do. I thank my husband. Y'all can follow him. Um, he also has a business called Geeks and Greeks. Um, website is shopgeeksandgreeks.com. Follow him on Instagram at sigma.zone.productions. Um, and also official.geeksandgreeks is also the other IG account. So make sure y'all follow him on there. He's real sweet. Oh, and he's a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. So I'm just like now throwing that out there too. I kind of caught that before you said it, but I was like, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, he's a Sigma. <laughs> yes, I'm going to uh, make sure I even put his information in the description as well. So make sure you guys check out the description box because everything will be down there. And we're just, I'm saying, we're we're gonna grow together. We are networking, and I'm I'm really loving it. So thank you again, Queen, for stopping by. Make thank sure you, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Share this video with anyone you feel it will be useful for, whether they're a business owner or not. This is some great information in here, and she has some life-changing things that she can provide you with, tools that she can provide you with that will really help you grow as a person and in life in general. So make sure you guys stay locked into her. So thank you again. <laughs> and until next time, guys, I will catch you later. Peace. <laughs> I'm feeling